Hey everyone, and we're back with episode 2 of Let's Play Lego Island 2. And we're just waiting for um, the loading screen to disappear so we can continue from where we left off, where the Brickster has wreaked havoc on Lego Island. And we have lost all the buildings, and yeah, basically everything's just in a bit of a chaos, really. So. I'll we need a fast-thinking, smart-acting, brave, clean, and reverent hero to save the day. Pepper, what are you doing? My best. That's all we can ask for, and here's what we need. One, find the pages that are now gone. Two, rebuild the island. Three, get ready, and four, go, man, go. Watch out for those Brickster bots. Okay, so we need to basically, on the left you can see different types of bricks and bolts, we have to get them, and the other ones as well, but we've also got to retrieve pages at the same time for, for to fix the Constructopedia. So, that'll basically rebuild some bits around the island, and then we can move on basically. So, this happens throughout the game, and it's kind of the main thing that happens I'd say. And we want to get you, thank you. Pepper. Yeah, I just I saw the um first page I want to get is up here, I believe. Pepper. I think it is. I hope it is. Uh please, please, please be up here. Why couldn't you pick it up? Hooray! Good find! So there we go, that's where we'll get all our boots from. Watch that space, as well. that is very important. Yeah, we are just a nice quick way to get down there. And like I said um, in the last episode, you can kind of just, uh, it, it always points you in the right direction. I can't really remember off the top of my head where everything is. Um, I do for some stages, but not for all, unfortunately. Paging building! Ah, pager. <laughs> Back in the days of pages. Probably the most least important house we need, to be honest. Pepper! And bricks the bot causing problems. Those bricks the bots are a pain. Oh, they're depressed. Maybe their football got took away during the whole uh, uh, destruction of the island. Wouldn't surprise me. Any, oh, Ed's still trying to deliver mail up, Blair bless him. I see a uh, bricks the bot. Let's go get him! Ah, got you. And that was the gold one we needed. Awesome job there. If I do say so myself. We have located a page! Over. So Pepper's house has just been built, is now been rebuilt. Aha, plenty of bricks to box for us here. And another one down here. Do you not even realise they're behind you? You are the Popo after all. Hmm. Pepper. I don't think you're a very good police officer, to be honest. <laughs> and here's the final page we need to collect. At least for now. We're doing it now, Pepper Dude! And he is now in his information centre. And we I all know to... that, but you may not know that they can be stopped by flinging. Yes, I do know you can fling pizzas at them. See? So we've got all of them. And we've got all the pages. Hurry, Pepper, get to the information centre. I need help with these bricks to bot heads. So now we kind of get to play like a whack a mole sort of mini game here, where basically the Infomaniac seems to have crawled into a machine with bricks to bots, and you have to hit the bricks to bots on the head. But not the Infomaniac, so hit the naughty boss, yeah. but don't hit me by accident. Don't know why he's in the machine. So let's try to do this. See, look, they go. It's just in the machine, just hanging out. Why not? This is such a difficult game. It's still a difficult game. Back you go. Back you go. Especially when you hear the same catchphrase over and over again, it gets a bit irritating. Right, we can do this. Let's go quick as well as game. 
So I can predict I will not get 100%. Oh, still got a Alright, so all the brains have lost to just be hiding in this machine all along. It's probably a waste of time. Keep walking the battle front of mine. Last minute, typical. Always seems to be the case. Doesn't show up at all, and then they show up last minute when you least expect them, and when you least want them as well in the last one second, but still got the most points. That is an achievement. I have not done that before. I'm hoping maybe I'll, I'll be able to. Actually, no, I won't. I know I won't be able to because some of the levels I find quite difficult. Um, um, try and, we'll try and get gold as much as we can and get the most points we can. Um, We'll have to see. But I don't really care about the score too much. It doesn't because it doesn't make any difference at all to the game, so it doesn't really matter. But oh my gosh, these loading screens! I mean, some people moan that Sims 4 has loading screens now, which I think is a good thing, which I've said many times. But crikey, this is something else. These, like I said, these loading screens used to take forever on old computers. Forever. And if you've ever played this game, you'll know what I mean. The PS1 version has really quick loading screens, but I've never played that one. Um, but from what I've seen from YouTube videos, they're pretty quick. And it looks like we are back. Zero, 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 one, 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 zero, zero, zero. Chaos call from Castle Island. Urgent. The Brickster broke the bridge. Bad news is the Brickster has left Lego Island. The good news is we now know where the Brickster is, and he's on Castle Island. Let's get him! He owes me for the pizza! Priorities again. Yes! And now he's deconstructed the bridge between the two castles, and the neighbors can't battle at all. The horror! Exactly! Somebody has got to go to the rescue headquarters, get a boat, and get to Castle Island real fast, and fix the bridge even faster. I'm not busy. Then, to the rescue headquarters. Let's go to the rescue HQ. You need to go to the rescue HQ to get a boat, Emma. Yep, we're on our way. So this will take us to Castle Island. This is one of the big things with Lego Island 2, that there's other places you can visit. Um, Lego Island 1, it was kind of... Yeah, look, he's already beaten us there. He basically just teleports out. I literally used to he used to walk there in the game. I would literally slowly do this and I would walk and follow him and make sure he couldn't teleport out of my sight and he'd still beat me. I used to get very upset with that. Ha! Got here first! Didn't. Did two. Did not. Did two and no tag backs! Now, you'll need a boat. Get a boat and head to the exciting Castle Island, where noble knights rule medieval days. And the citizens and bridges need your help. Cool. Right, let's go to Castle Island, which I believe is this way, if memory serves me right. Maybe not. Okay. Pa yes, it is. So this is the portal into Castle Island. So there's a different activities here, and it's kind of if you've ever played Lego Creator Knight's Kingdom, it's the world from that basically, and that's another really good Lego game. There's a lot of good Lego games in the early 2000s, um, Lego Racers, Lego Creator, Lego Cre Harry Potter, Lego Knight's Kingdom. Um, yeah, <laughs> you've probably noticed by now that I think they're better. Well, I've said it many times, but you can tell. 
you can tell by how much I enjoy them. But I do not enjoy these loading screens. These loading screens are from the pits of hell. We'll go with that. Come on, you can do it. I think I will start editing these out. Someone actually talking the loading screen next time, and I'll just edit it out. Oh no, they can't battle, they could just swim across. But nope, nobody thinks of that one. Huzzah! Huzzah! Oh, strange night in Old Armour. Do you say you've arrived to repair the bridge that we cannot? Before we think, before we sink, before we swim, please help us to repair our bridge. That's why I'm here, you old swordsman dude. I'm a Lego Meister and bridge repairer. Yes. So we can collect these uh, gold cups. Uh, so the skateboard will be different, but it's not in this world. It is in one of them. Uh, right, let's go to the bridge. So basically, the first task we have to do with that is um, oh, there's the king and queen there, just sitting around. Is the bridge broke? It's been too peaceful around here. Thank goodness you've arrived. Our bridge is in need of repair. I notice. So I'm going to repair this now. And this involves going under the sea. So cue your little mermaid uh, soundtrack there. Um, I'm afraid that music won't Dive play. down to collect the bridge bricks whilst avoiding any obstacles you see. There should also be a page down there somewhere. You can't leave till you found the. I've got to do some running out of oxygen as well. Oh, oops. Oh, that's fine. That's first what? break! Good work, Pepper! Four to go! Okay, so we got to go further down. Ooh. Not having much luck here, are we? <laughs> used to be a lot better at this level. There's a second brick. Don't know why they couldn't die. Nearly halfway! The bridge is usable by mice. Yeah, that's fine, mice. Mice are great at using the bridges. Or so I've heard. Nice to know the cannon follows your every move. <laughs> Good, good, you're doing well, Pepper. Good to know. Thank you for the positive reinforcement you're building. That really uh, helps, or something like that. Anyway. Oh, bullshit, it helps. Did I have to go past one up here? I'm not sure if I did. I don't think I did. Luck, am I? Oh, no, come back. Oh, this has never happened before, so. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe I should have done like a let's play of this when I was like eight. Because however old I was when I played this, probably younger than that, actually. I was younger than that, it must have been about six, actually. I'm just thinking about where I lived when I played it, I must have been five or six years old. I'd say probably five. Definitely, yeah. I'm still going to this day. That was a bit of a weird noise, I don't know what that noise was, but it was a weird noise. And hopefully we can get all the way down there and we'll see the beautiful octopus. 
of us at the bottom of the ocean. Timing off a bit there. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got some damage. Oh, oh. Can't wait when we get to the bottom. Did you? Nope. Nope. Not ever. Not once. You know, it's fine. <laughs> just, just pretend I didn't like. Uh, you know, get hit by the cannon, swallowed by the, uh, the is it the clam, and hit by the octopus, and hit by the anchor, stunned by the stingrays. Ah, still great at it. Pro hashtag pro talent is what that is. And of course, another lovely, 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 lovely loading screen. I don't think I can say lovely many more times to make it seem any more lovelier than it currently is not. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, you will, yeah. Yeah. Hip, hip, hooray. Huh? A gazillion thanks, friend. Now that the bridge is up, we can battle our neighbours again. Paging Pepper, Pepper, come in. We have found another page. Seriously, no bull. It's at the bull's castle. Oh, well, they I have run it up the flagpole to, to see who would salute it. How do they work that into a kid's game? That's suggestive. To bull's castle flagpole and hurry! That's very suggestive. Like this. These all add to our overall score for the game, so we want to be as good as we can. Halt! Who goes there? I mean here. Who goes here? I mean, who are you? Pepper, sir dude. The name is Pepper, and I am here to get the page that flaps upon your flagpole. It's pretty important to the place I come from. May I have it? Nay, oh nay, one who calls himself a spice. We need a flag to flap about, and our real flag was stolen by those uh, lions. Hmm. What if I got your flag back? Could I then have the page? Good thinking, Spice Boy. Here, here. Then that's exactly what I'll do. To the lion's castle I go. You must have a horse, of course. So they're going to just. We will loan you one. I suppose it's going to throw us a horse. <laughs> That's kind of continuing from a tradition from the first game because they were throwing animals around and on a pony. Is really bad. Way uh, they cool. threw animals, but yeah, that's kind of what they do. Um, it's kind of what happens in this game. I'm trying to work out how to. There we go. Yeah, kind of just what happens in uh, Lego Island games. They kind of threw like parrots about and cats and in a fun way, not like abusive or anything if you're like an animal lover. Um, no, it was quite funny. Oh, it's kind of continuing Friend that. or foe of the lions? Friend to all animals. The name is Pepper, and I've come to ask for the return of the bull's flag. Surely you are a talented jester, for you have brought much merriment to our walls. Is there any way I can get their flag back? You see, the bulls have something I need, and if I give them their flag back, then they will give me what I need. Oh, please! Oh, we've got to do some important discussions here. We have discussed your predicament. 
we set you an ordeal. If you are victorious at a jousting match with a dark knight of the balls, the flag is yours. I've never jousted before, but it sounds like fun. Sign me up. I'll do it. Yeah. Awesome. I'm just going to quickly save this, by the way, just in case um, anything goes wrong. Uh, so we'll go back and do some jousting. Because this used to be, like, so difficult when I was little. Um, jousting. Um, you need... I could not do it. You need to challenge the Dark Knight, Pepper. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I could not do I it. I challenge... It <coughs> I challenge you, Dark Knight of the Bulls, to a joust. I accept, little one. Hey, I'm... Uh, <clears throat> I'm the same size as you, bully. Harumph. Aim sharper than the Dark Knight to win the joust. Say, so mother him down. Okay. This is very difficult. I could not do this at all. But to build enough power to meet them. And then keep the box focused on Young them. Knight, thou keepest thy seat most well. Never I've done that before. I I shouldn't go so uh, fast. This is most fortuitous. It would be unseemly yeah, for a joust to be decided on the first half. Yes, the young knight has a mighty arm. Awesome. Have the castle on the back when I suddenly become 2D. No more notices. Fine. What hit me a train? Oh, wow. He's fast and he's mean. You've got to be faster and aim for the shield. Whoops. This is embarrassing. I told you it was a difficult battle, didn't I? It doesn't seem it, but it's difficult to actually aim this. Okay. The young knight has a mighty arm. Come on, last round. We can do this if he doesn't win. Hey, Mr. Black Knight. Are. are you okay? I think we've won. <laughs> yes, oh, I like how his shield's a pizza. That was too close, Papa, but you kept your seat well and unhorsed him in the end. I hereby congratulate good night, Pepper, and proclaim today as Pepper Day for his noble defeat of the Bull's Dark Knight. A cheer for Pepper. Hip hip! Hooray! Here's your flag you so well deserve. And you threw that to us as well. Thank you. Good catch! So we can give that back to them, and very soon we'll actually be able to leave Castle Island. And I hope you appreciate that I decided to finally skip loading the screens there. I was just taking way too long. Way too long. Here we Have are. Have you our flag? I yes, most we do. certainly do because I said I would. I'll trade you for the page, King Sir. I heard that the Dark Knight lost a joust earlier. Our Dark Knight? Oh, yes. He hasn't been himself lately. He probably has a cold or something. And here's your flag. Good excuse there for losing. <laughs> oh dear, Cedric the Bull. <laughs> oh no. That's not good. Allow me to introduce myself, Pepper. I am Cedric the Bull, your worst nightmare, and these are cannonballs. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. So basically, a final showdown in Castle Island involves defeating Cedric the Bull, who's going to throw loads of cannonball, b b cannonballs, not bull, at us, and 
um, we have to basically not die and destroy all of his cannons so we can get the page back. Then we can head back to Lego Island. Get across the bridge, then take control of the cannons to knock Cedric's cannons out. Weird camera angle this one. Hmm, cannons. They look useful. Awesome. We got the page that we needed. Just what we came for. Now apologies for having to uh, cut that there. Fraps seems to like running the game at one frames per second at the moment, which is very strange. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and that wraps up this one. We will return at Lego Island and continue the game from there and restoring the island. Um, yeah. <laughs> and you didn't miss much, by the way, in um, the kind of thing I finally managed to aim once the game stopped freezing um, and running at a super low FPS so yeah that helps quite a lot so that is all done <laughs> as obviously and I will see you next time thanks for watching guys <laughs>